Find slope and y-intercept from an equation. This is 7.5b for Algebra 1. A linear equation can be written in many ways, like many forms. And we've learned about the standard form, the ax plus by equals c. And now we're learning about slope-intercept form. That's y equals mx plus b. And just remember, linear equations make straight lines when they're graphed. So each form of equation has specific uses. And the slope-intercept form, as its name implies, makes the slope and y-intercept of the line obvious to us. And the y-intercept in this equation is a b, which is where the line crosses. It intercepts the y-axis. So we don't know what b stands for. We just know that that's where it crosses the y-axis. So if x is 0, then the y value is going to be b, whatever it stands for, as an ordered pair. So let's take a look at this. So here's the equation y equals mx plus b. We know now from the last video that the m is the actual slope. And the b is the y-intercept. It's where it crosses the y-axis. So we know m is the slope. So if x is 0, let's take a look at this equation. If x is 0, m times x is going to be 0, right? Principle of 0. Anything times 0 is 0. So really, we're saying y is equal to b. And the graph crosses the y-axis at the point 0, b. 0 for x and b for y. So let's take a look at this. For the equation y equals 2x minus 3, the y-intercept b is negative 3. That's where the line crosses the y-axis. Here's the y-axis. This line, whoops, sorry about the focus. The line is crossing the y-axis at negative 3. That's the y-intercept b. See? It has a slope of 2. We can see that because m is the slope. It's the coefficient to x, right? So we know it's got a slope of 2. And just by looking at this equation, we know it's slope and it's y-intercept b. Slope is 2. Y-intercept is negative 3. See? And any time we look at the ordered pair for where it's hitting the y-axis, the x value is going to be 0. See? Because here's the x value. And this point hitting the y-axis sets the x value for 0. See? It's 0 on the coordinate plane going this way for the x-axis. It's at 0. But y is at negative 3. See that? And that's our ordered pair. So what if we see uh, a problem and it says find the slope and y-intercept of y equals 3x minus 4? Well, we can just look at it and tell you. The slope is 3. That's the coefficient for x. And where does the line hit the y-axis, the y-intercept? Negative 4. You can just look at it and tell. See that? But what happens when we're given a problem like this and it says find the slope and y-intercept and it's not in slope-intercept form? It says 2x plus 3y equals 6. That's not slope-intercept form. So what we need to do is rewrite it into slope-intercept form. What we do is we use our additive inverses and we take away 2x from each side and then that'll eliminate this, won't it? Now we've just got 3y equals negative 2x plus 6. See that? And you have to remember that it has to be in this form, so the x and the slope have to be up in front of the plus b. See that? We can't put 6 minus 2x. That's not slope-intercept form. It has to be negative 2x plus 6. See, because it's a positive 6. Then. We divide each term by this coefficient 3. We get our friend the invisible 1, the identity property, don't we? And we get y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 2, because 6 divided by 3 is 2. See that? So our slope is negative 2 thirds, and our y-intercept is a 2. Now, do you see the mistake we could have made if we mistakenly looked at this problem and said, oh, the slope is a 2 because it's next to the x. And the y-intercept is a 6 because this is the one that's all by itself. Well, it's not 2 for the slope. It's negative 2 thirds, and it's not 6 for the y-intercept. It's only 2. See that? The y-intercept is 2, so it crosses the y-axis at 2. See? It crosses it up here at a positive 2. That's not the way this equation looks before we put it in slope-intercept form, does it? 
So you got to make sure you put it into slope intercept form first. You got to remember to switch it to the correct form first and solve for y. We can't just take the values of the equation without putting it in slope intercept form because it'll be wrong. If you, and I guarantee they're going to do this to you on a test. They're going to give you an equation written like this where it's not in slope intercept form and it's going to say what's the slope? What's the y intercept? And they're going to have 2 as an answer and 6 as an answer to trick you. And a lot of people will mark that as the answer because they didn't want to take the extra step of doing the additive inverse and writing it in slope-intercept form. It's a completely different answer. Don't let them trick you on the test, okay? Our next video, number 7.5c, is going to be graphing using slope-intercept equations. And there'll be links to the meaning of slope and graphing horizontal and vertical lines and graphing using intercepts and the slope form of equation. And I'm even going to put a link to my grade 8 math linear equation playlist because there's a lot of good information in that playlist about linear equations, which is what we're learning about. And my grade 8 math, math playlist has a lot of Algebra 1 in it. It's just that this Algebra 1 playlist goes into a little more detail and a little more in depth, okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.